Why is methylation important? Now we've talked about what methylation is previously. Um, it's literally chemically adding on a methyl group, but what does this mean? Why is this important for our overall health, how our bodies function, all of that stuff, right? So here are some of the things, and this is not an exclusive list at all. There can be other things that you may notice and you might notice something more specific to you than somebody else. Sometimes people say things like, oh, I, the, you know, I have bags under my eyes or my skin looks different or something like that. Absolutely, that can be a factor. But here's some main things that you may notice if you're not methylating well. The first thing is it's really important important methylation is really important for your overall gut health this does not just mean like your tummy not feeling bloated this is overall motility and stuff moving through your gut and your digestive process happening the way that it should a lot of people don't realize that this is really 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 important um, and you know when we talk about the importance of gut health with your overall health tons and tons of connections um, and as we get into some of these things when I talk about hormone balance here in just a minute which is the main thing I talk about, um, you'll realize like, oh my gosh, yes, this is a huge thing. So I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. And you can subscribe there as well to as subscribe um, on my YouTube, subscribe to my podcast and follow me on social media. But some of the things that we talk about here, um, I really wanna highlight the fact that we are talking about your health as a whole. There is no one thing that works in isolation from something else. Everything is connected in the body. And that's why we go through these things and talk about many different symptoms and systems that kind of work together here. So gut health is the first thing. Neurotransmitter production. What does that mean? What are neurotransmitters? These are things like serotonin or dopamine, right? Things that make you feel good, things that help your mood regulate, make sure you're not suffering with too much anxiety or depression or things like that. And if your system is not regulating its methylation, then it can impact how well these neurotransmitters are produced. Now, some neurotransmitters like serotonin, for example, is primarily produced in your gut. There are other neurotransmitters like dopamine that are primarily produced in your brain. So again, this one thing can impact these different areas or systems of the body, and it's all due to your methylation process. So we wanna make sure that we're doing everything possible so that you are methylating at your best. Yes. Uh, hormone balance. Now this might be kind of a deceiving thing um, overall when we talk about hormone balance and especially tied with the neurotransmitter production because this does impact your mood, um, any depressive uh, you know, modes that you would get in, how deep it is, how fast you come out of it, anxiety, how frequently you feel that, how intense it is, all of those things. Those can also be related to your hormone. And again, I say hormone balance. It's not the same all the time. It's how your body can produce and regulate your hormones on its own and the ebb and flow that the female hormones go through throughout the month. So, but your body's ability to produce, to process, and specifically for estrogen, phase two of estrogen metabolism is methylation. So if you're not methylating, you're not processing estrogen correctly, which can lead to a big imbalance in your body. And I say imbalance in air quotes because again, estrogen does change in level throughout the month, but it can be at not the right level for you if you're not methylating. And I've seen this again and again with a Dutch test. So Dutch testing, um, you can go below this video and, and click the link and learn more about what a Dutch test is. Is it a urine test where we look at what your hormone levels are, what they're doing, and then how we can help your body process and function better around this. This tells us all we need to know about your body in terms of hormone production and maintenance. Um, so you can click that link, learn more about it. It gets sent right to you. you it's, it gets sent right to your, you at your home. Blah, I'm talking too fast. Um, and it's a urine test. So you pee on the strips and then you send it into the lab and then we go over your results with you and talk about next steps from there. The last thing here with methylation is energy. This can feel really different. And again, when we are low in energy or feeling like, oh, I just don't have the energy I want to have, or I sleep a lot and I still don't have energy. Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel fatigued? Why do I feel low energy all the time? What is wrong with me? It can really be that your body's not methylating well, so it doesn't have the things it needs to produce the energy that it would need to function like it should and for you to do your daily tasks and live the life that you want to live. 
So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always leave a comment below. Um, or if you're not comfortable commenting, you can reach out to me privately through an email. I'm always open to that. And just let me know if there's anything else I can do. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.